interesting alternative show on Phoenix FM. Gold to cash, you sell it, we buy it. You get more at the Money Shop Brentwood store or online at moneyshop.tv. And welcome to another special edition of the Interesting Alternative Show with me, uh, Steve Davis, and... Me, Carlos Tarabi. Hi. Hi. Yes. Uh, and of course, two very special gentlemen have come in. Uh, Matt Stevens and Kev- Kevin Kev Fazy. Kev, Kev Kevin Fazy from the Fierce and, Fierce and the Dead. And we've just been fortunate enough to listen to your new EP, which is, uh, that sounded pretty decent as well, from, on VHS. Much. Yep, out, out today. Out today. <laughs> really? <laughs> on Monday. Top yeah. release day. Oh. Get straight in there with the other Oh, it's so long people. since I got, had a record on the day it came out. <laughs> <laughs> it's tricky. I remember going to a radio studio. I was talking about Snooker Loopy. We had to do lots of things on the day. It's it's a it's just a merry-go-round, isn't it? What what? Where else have you been? No, just here. Oh, that's very nice. Yeah. Thank just you for, for choosing us first. Yeah. They did they did loose women earlier on, of course. But that's, yeah. You've only got two hours left of the evening before it's not your it's not your release day. Oh. No, exactly, exactly. Well, no, no, it's, it's 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 actually been really good. We put it out at midnight because it's you know the internet now is international and it's. It's actually been pretty amazing, the, the amount of downloads and stuff we've had already. It's just been, yeah, it's just really nice to, to think wow. you can put something out there and, you know, people pick it up straight away. It's brilliant, it really is. Uh, and that, that's via uh, Bandcamp? Bandcamp we use, yeah, yeah. And it's an interesting concept, isn't it, that you can you can get out to more people quickly who, who are desperate for it. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely, yeah, yeah. And um, we tend to do things as well. We do do physical CDs, but we also do um, most of our stuff as pay what you want. So people can go on there and if, you know, I mean, you know, not everybody's got a lot of money these days. So for us, it's really important that, you know, people get to hear it. So um, all donations generously, you know. <laughs> I, tell me, I mean, are you, received. you obviously can then see what people, you yeah. know, who the skin flints are compared to the ones. <laughs> We've uh, got a list, yeah. That's yeah. fantastic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just, uh, oh, yeah, we know who you are. Yes, yeah. obviously, yes. I mean, yeah, but that, well, I'm... I'm yeah, but I have a few student names as well. <laughs> anyway, that last track was uh, was from your latest uh, yep. EP. That was the title track that on VHS. Indeed, yep. Starting off the show uh, was, and of course, you, lads, you're both picking the music tonight. Um, yes, the you've whole been show. Very kind is, to let us do. That. No, I think that's you part of, it's part of the uh, the equation. <laughs> uh, and the first track was uh, that was a taste of luxury by a chap called Bobby Conn. Sounded uh, very nice as well. Yeah, yeah I, mean, I, I love the, I love that nice. dude. That diminutive dude. <laughs> yeah, he's one of these guys that doesn't seem to get much publicity, but when you sort of talk about him, a lot of people go, oh, Bobby Conn, yeah, great. I, I buy that album, The Golden Age. It's amazing. Oh, it's amazing. It's Every single album, song. Of that one. Yeah, I've, pl- I've played uh, stuff of it before on this show, actually. Yeah, it is a, it is a killer. <laughs> catch, you... catch up, Steve, yeah? Yes, <laughs> I'm living in this low lane. This, uh, this particular radio show was, uh, one of the taglines was music you never knew existed. And it's getting to the stage now where I'm the only person who doesn't know the music. <laughs> exists Carvis knows it all and some of the people we have in the chat room uh, and the webcam that sadly isn't exactly working tonight we've had a bit of a problem in the studio but you can listen to us via the higher the high quality audio feed the chat room's not exactly uh, there as it, as it normally would be we've got some sort of thing going on but sadly we can't see our special guests Matt Stevens and Kev Fazy uh, unless they've got their own one up the other side of the, the decks and we can't see that on to the music it's a music show uh, the interesting alternative show on Phoenix FM Snookered for cash, you get more at the Money Shop Brentwood store or online at moneyshop.tv. And a special edition of the Interesting Alternative Show, of course, with uh, our two sort of um, special guests. Uh, and it's a pleasure to have in the studio, as we've mentioned before, Matt Stevens uh, and Kev Fazy, and uh, of The Fierce and the Dead, but also Matt from uh, from... The Matt Stevens, yeah, of Matt Stevens, <laughs> of Matt Stevens, <laughs> and uh, I've said, I said, did was the Matt Stevens is, yes, <laughs> just crossed my mind that, that you and I do have something in common is that we are both named after snooker players, <laughs> uh, but of course you are Matt Stevens yeah. as opposed to Matthew Stevens. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, and yeah, yes, yes, Stevens. Do you know that there's a big correlation between rock stars because I know you are a rock star, rock star <laughs> names and snooker players. You got Julie, Jay Cope. James, Julian yeah, Cove, yeah. Ian and his arch enemy, of course, in the rock world, that is, Ian McCulloch. Um, right. You've got an Ian McCulloch. You've got uh, M. King. Is it Mark King? Mark King. The Mark thumb King. slapping bassist. <laughs> yes, he does. Yeah. Um, Slappy thumbs. There's more. There's more. I've noticed more. Ronnie James Dio, the great snooker player. <laughs> And Kev Fazy's very up and coming. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. He's, he's ranked in the 200s. Um, and of course, it's your choices, lads, tonight. And um, uh, what, what I did notice there, Matt, was that um, you said, This is great. I've never heard this before. No. So I assume this wasn't your choice, one was of there? your choices. Yeah, that was one of mine. And uh, <laughs> did you take, is, was there any sort of pecking order here? Was there. 
No, not really. No, we just worked it out on Saturday, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, we, we fights, kind of, I think fight? this fist fight they say yeah. that over. <laughs> arm wrestle. With arm wrestle. Yeah. <laughs> we've, we've, we've been been in bands together for a very long time, so we kind of just sort of trust each other to yeah. get on with it. There's, not, there's never normally any nasty surprises. So <laughs> that was the the band Drunk Horse and the track Sky Dog from the CD In Tongues, and a, a great track before that as well, which. Uh, Polar yeah, there was a polar bear. Yeah, yeah. Your choice, or was that Matt's? Was that, that to, to be honest with you, that was a little bit of a. Uh, I, I, I know those guys. Um, my friend, oh, it's uh, incestuous, yeah. Incestuous. My friend, um, my friend. I used to own a. Sh- uh, I used to uh, run a studio with a friend of mine, Sonny, and he engineered that album, at our old studio, and it's it's a fantastic piece of work. So yeah. incredible drummer, of course, as well, Seb Rochford. Amazing, um, amazing. One of the, one of the big boys. <laughs> uh, obviously, um, yeah, I was going to say, I was going to say something. There. The, the, the fact uh, you, you've you in a band and, and involved, you personally could have been involved in producing and yeah, in the sound yeah, yeah. world as well. Um, without giving away too many uh, secrets tonight, apart from the bands that you know that you have to play, otherwise you get <laughs> beaten up. After. Yeah. Well, have we got anything in any, any teasers for later in the show? You got anything that? Yeah. yeah think, just something yeah. that's something a bit special. Anything coming up that we should be waiting yeah, for? Yeah, we've we've got some friends in a band called um, Trojan Hall. Um, yes, we know them well. Yes. Yeah, they've just uh, they've just about to release an EP called the Far EP, and they've very kindly given us um, th- a track from that to play. Uh, well, that's nice, isn't it? Tonight. That's great. Well, so you, you get two exclusives: the first, the first of our <laughs> stuff, and the first of their stuff. So. Well, that's marvelous. Uh, we come bearing gifts. Well, that's fantastic. <laughs> what's what's next? What have we got uh, next? It should be. Um, we hope uh, Fugazi with a song called Burning Skill. Well, wow! I've, no, I've never. I'm a. I'm a Frippian. I'm a Frippist. But I've never heard that before. <laughs> that was from the uh, LPCD Exposure and the track Breathless. And before that, uh, some more music I never knew existed. Uh, Fugazi uh, and Yay. the track Burning from the Thirteen Song CD. Choices of our two special guests this evening. Uh, uh, um, Kev, <laughs> Kev, as he's now called. <laughs> Doesn't have a second name now because I, I I I don't know what but I, the E was silent. I did, it was it was soft. I, it was I was feasy. It's feasy. It's feasy. It's feasy. Yes, okay, yeah. then it's feasible. I can say that. And uh, Matt Stevens, of course, and and um, Ad Randall Steve. in the chat room. Um, Steve, you dropped an E on air. <laughs> hey. Well, wow. <laughs> Thank you. I'll be here. We try to be. Uh, um, actually, we, we, we have a sort of chat room going um, via, um, fortunately, um, thanks very much to Brian uh, for the last two hours of excellent music. Um, he, he left his laptop here, so we've got some form of chat room, even though part of the studio has uh, had internet problems. Um, but there is a way of sort of seeing into the studio. And uh, A.D. Randall uh, asked them, Matt, uh, what was the first um, piece of music that you actually um, what inspired you to pick up the guitar? Well, I mean, Postman Pat, I mean, what were... <laughs> How far do we go back? Um, yeah, probably uh, Iron Maiden. Probably <laughs> not cool, but true. So uh, when I was at school, Very Iron cool. Maiden were cool. Well, no, when I was at school, you were either into Iron Maiden or Europe, and I, Maiden every time. So. Well, it's no choice. Really. <laughs> so yeah, Maiden, Iron Maiden every time. And just for anybody who hasn't uh, uh, just just dropped in, uh, the two lads in the studio from the the band The Fierce and the Dead, um, and they have a new EP out. We'll be playing another track from that uh, in just a while but um uh, also matt you do play solo yeah um although the last time i saw you um was at uh, the roast fest um uh, day which was uh, put on by hi <laughs> Carvers. and um uh, most bands uh, played with their f- with um, with people behind them and you had you chose to play with um, your band behind the curtains <laughs> Just you on stage. Me and the loop pedal. And yeah. playing quite amazing music with just a guitar. It was one of my loop gigs. Um, yeah, it was um, just me and the loop pedal, that one. Um, it was good because you can go to gigs with only a bag. You don't have to carry anything. You don't have to arrange for them to be there. Nice and easy. You're a guitarist. Carver, yeah, I want to go to a gig with just a bag. How, how, how is he doing that? How does he play that much music with just one person there? Oh, this, it, is this, it? we're in the future now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> With the you know um, the future anything well yeah, little is possible in the future but that's one of the things that is. Okay, did you see him performing solo and think I need him in the band or did you ask him to be, did you ask to be in the band just as well, a bass guitarist? Obviously, did you say yeah. I could add I could add another guitar to the whole equation? Well, uh, kind of. It was uh, I mean me and Matt we've actually been in bands together since we was about fifteen years old. I'm not going to say how old we are now, but <laughs> so it was only a couple of years ago. Um, but yeah, no, we've just always done stuff together, and then you know, gone separate ways, and uh, you know, we. 
we're actually, I mean, the Fierce and the Dead is actually um, uh, myself, uh, Matt, um, and two, again, old friends, Stuart Marshall and Steve Cleeton, um, who we've known for years and years and years, and it really came around from... In fact, Matt is the reason we got back together because um, the first track we recorded, uh, part one, which was a 19-minute long song, as you do, um, was meant to go on Matt's, one of Matt's solo albums. Um, he decided he wanted to try doing something again with bass and drums, so we got together, did it, uh, and then we went, this is fun, isn't it? And just carried on from there, really. So, you know, it's quite nice. I, I was first... Uh, you- Brought to your, 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 you brought to my attention by um, Carlos walking in and playing some different music to the stuff I was playing uh, and since that's happened it, there's been a, a completely different cross section of music played on the show mm. and you played the, 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 the if it carries on like this um, we're moving yeah yeah, we're, off yeah, the, yeah. Welcome, yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> and uh, which was a great title and that was how did that go was that a good how did that particular uh, album do was that it was yeah no, it went really well surprisingly it was, it was, it was amazing yeah. it's it one of them weird things where we put it out we thought well no one's going to like this because it's well out there and well you know it's almost like the, the more you try and do things just because you love doing it and because it's stuff you're really into the more people seem to like it so you yeah. just do what you want don't you yeah. so it's, and it seems to work well, like I say the first thing we put out was a 90 minute song and it went down really well I mean you know <laughs> go figure I don't know it, it just shows know. you completely don't pay any attention to any yeah. commercial yeah. or anything at all just well you, it, like. you know I, I suppose you know that, as did my wife once said about you know with 19 minute songs yeah well compared to most of the stuff I listen to that's just a pretty good intro you know so. <laughs> Yeah, 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 absolutely, absolutely. You're listening to the Interesting Alternative Show here on uh, Phoenix FM, Brentwood and Billericay's local community radio station, and the choices of our two special guests, Matt Stevens and Kev Feezy um, from The Fierce and the Dead. Uh, what's next? What's next? Um, uh, next up, we're, we're lucky to have another, uh, uh, well, I'm lucky enough to have another selection. This is a guy <laughs> called Hauschka. Um, it's, it's beautiful stuff. He actually plays a prepared piano, which is a piano with nails and things stuck in it. Sounds like it's going to be awful, but it's very beautiful stuff. The interesting alternative show on Phoenix FM. Gold to cash. You sell it, we buy it. You get more at the Money Shop Brentwood store. Or online at moneyshop.tv. I'm not, I'm not playing the, the, the 147 breakout. I love the 147 no, breakout. Like That's the only reason I come in. No, no, I don't <laughs> like the 147 breakout. I can hear the 147 breakout. Well, yeah, I've choice of three adverts, and I don't like that one. It's just... just yeah. that Steve, was, uh, Steve, you notice, when, when I'm on my own, I, that's, the only, that's the one I always play. <laughs> Yeah, but that's, that's, I don't care if I'm not listening to it. It's just um, <laughs> although I do obviously listen to your shows yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, from afar. Yeah. Uh, that was. Uh, <laughs> What, what's the other one? I can't. No, you listen to it, but you turn the volume down. <laughs> uh, that was uh, um, the prepared piano Hauska. Uh, um, having a pronunciation problem this evening, uh, and the track let's say that was very pretty for somebody yes. who's banged nails into their piano. Yes, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, 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 and, yeah. Um, Normally, when people say prepared piano, they expect nonsense. But, well, um, yeah. Yeah, let's be fair. Yeah, let's okay, be okay, fair. Okay. Nonsense, nonsense is groovy music. Oh yeah, yeah, it has its, it has its place. Or is it? Yeah. <laughs> Just trying to just trying to you know present the, an equal sort of argument here. <laughs> where did you fo- where did you stumble upon that? That was actually a recommendation, um, uh, as a lot of things are. You know, friends, you know, finding stuff, passing things on to you. Um, yeah, it's it's you know it's just we're talking to people all the time, so you know things just go round. Uh, has he got back, on the internet back catalogue of many prepared pianos? Has he bashed, yes. bashed lots of things into different yes. pianos? Yes. So more yes, than I was, just I was, the one CD. Yeah, you know? I was most impressed as well. It was that you can have an album of it and not get bored. It's he's, he's very varied in sort of the way he approaches it, so it's well worth checking out. In the in the same way as Gasman is. Um, I guess for that. Oh yeah. Uh, well, um, he got played on um, Six Music. Uh, oh, yes, right. okay. Okay. About, yeah. Oh. Sorry. Um, the, so um, I feel like Steve now. I really feel like being offended. <laughs> what, what can we listen to? What can we listen to that might offend? Well, the Fierce and the Dead have a new EP out that's, that's just come out today, and yep. it's still today. Um, and um, apparently, in a very short space of time, uh, one of your tracks has upset somebody. Is this true, Matt? Yeah, well, what happened in the end, um, this bloke um, commented on that, uh, that it was um, obscene and he didn't like the band name and we would have proper music like Ella Fitzgerald and all this stuff. I was like, well, I, I think people choose to take offence. I think some people love should, it. We should clarify. They the, love the, to be the, offended. The, the track name is, yeah, this was, next track yeah. we're going to play in a minute, was is 666. 
six. <gasps> It was a joke. It was a basic, basically a joke. It's sort of a, you know, we all grew up with... You a, can't joke about the devil. Well, yeah. 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 There's grew, something, some things are beyond the pale. <laughs> we, we grew up with, a, you know, with, with metal and things like that, and so it's just a joke on that. But, um, yeah, some um, American gentleman took offence to it. And, was this yeah. after downloading it? Or? No, I think no. he watched... We've got a video for it, and I think he watched that. How did he? How did he hear about it? Is he just trawling the internet, looking Maybe. to be? If you want to be offended, the internet's a good place to look. <laughs> I think you know. I think he's keeping himself busy looking for things to offend him. Yeah, yeah. I, could, I might. I might send him a sort of list of uh, sites to go to. I suppose we should make sure that the, the music itself is not offensive. <laughs> Let's rock. <laughs>
interesting alternative show on Phoenix FM. 147 break. For maximum cash, you get more at the Money Shop Brentwood store or online at Money oh, Shop Brentwood. Classic slice of offensive rock. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Loved it. 147 break. Um, which uh, way was that, offensive? The 147 break or the, the, the strap? No, well <laughs> offensive. I, well, I, I assume that you're, it could be offensive to people who don't like uh, that style of music, but it, it sounded like it was buzzing. It Thanks, did man. sound like it was buzzing. And also, that if you went along to see that live, mm. you would be buzzing at the end of it. We it hope was, so. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. You get it in the eye socket. Yeah. <laughs> As yet, has that been played live? No. No. When will we? Yes. Yes. Oh, oh great. Yes. You look so How frightened then. <laughs> trying to remember. <laughs> <laughs> it, we are. Yeah. You look terrified. You played, you played it in that ice cream parlour. We played in an ice cream parlour wow. in Crouch End. Yeah. It was, it was quite an interesting show. It actually turned out to be a really, really good show, but most of the other bands playing were very acoustic. Well, what happened to um, the ice cream afterwards? It was lovely ice cream, oh, actually. Yeah. 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 Um, but yeah, it was, uh, it was an interesting show. Obviously, uh, with, with the EP uh, on VHS, and that, that track uh, from The Fierce and the Dead you've just heard, uh, and the track 666... Six, six. Yep. <laughs> which is the offensive part. Um, it's just that extra six. <laughs> you will obviously be following, following this up with... With some appearances, yes, we're trying to. What have um, you got lined up? Well, we've got some. Well, we've got some gigs lined up with 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 the amount over uh, there. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> yes, sorry about that. No, there was a knife world and uh, and the fish and dead gig at, uh, in Kingston. I don't know why my voice went Leonard Rosser to then. There's a knife world. Then you less on, on, on further down the line. You, you mentioned knife world first. Did I? Yeah. yeah so then, but there's a Fierce and the Dead concert. And you're with with Nightfall, yeah, yeah, well. yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, Whichever way you want to look at it. Yeah. Which is when? That's a, in August? I, August? I can't yeah. remember. I think it's yeah. the second weekend in August. Long, long, 60, long, long time ago. Like that. Yeah. And yeah. that's at the Peel in Kingston. Please come along. Yes, do so. <laughs> so no, really, please. Please come along. <laughs> but we're also going to be playing on um, uh, May the 26th at the Urban Bar in Whitechapel. Um, and hopefully we should have some... Very good bands playing with us there as well. And, uh, yeah, we're just trying to sort out some more dates um, at the moment. So, yeah, watch this space. OK, you're listening to the music choices of our two special guests, Matt Stevens and Kev Feasy, uh, from the band The Fierce and the Dead, uh, and driving the show <laughs> in great style, uh, apart from pressing the advert buttons. That <laughs> I, I, I only played that advert just for you, Carver. I know, I love it. <laughs> yes. Um, uh, and you, tur- you turn up a bit late. To the, you've been, yeah, sorry you've about been that. busy mixing things yourself. Not, not you? today. I want one of the... No, no, no. Not today. Not today, OK. Right, last week. Very sorry about that. I promised to come in. I promised a Rob Crow special, and then um, my own idiocy with my uh, computer meant that I had to go and mix things. Uh, on the day that I should have been coming in, and I'm not normally that guy. I'm not normally the letdown guy. So, um, very sorry, listeners. And you Steve, pressed the raise. Pretty, I, I might might as well have actually for what, for what what happened. Um, I was a fool wow. to myself and to uh, Mark Cawthra. But um, Name it's all. As well. No, he he was mixing it. But um, it's all sorted now. Oh, great. Okay. Yeah. okay. So we can expect the Monsoon Bassoon box set then. In... Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, no, 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 sorry. <laughs> no. Oh, no, no, no. That's, 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 still, that's still to that's come. That's another story. That is another What's story. What's next, yeah. lads? What's next? Whose choice is it? Oh. The Mighty Wilco. The Mighty Wilco. Wow. That was, uh, that was, off, <laughs> that was off the Richter scale. In, Thanks. In, uh, and obviously not, I'm saying. Thanks. not I offensive. I mean, it was... Um, <laughs> Wow, well, that, was, uh, that, that was that was on the Richter's wow. scale. <laughs> oh, on the Richter's scale. No, the, on the Richter's scale. Oh right. So yeah. I, I was trying to be sort of like, yeah. sorry, I I see carry on. I see what you did. So yeah, yeah. I, I saw. Sorry, it I, I missed it. Went right over my head. There's <laughs> a lot of musical was, things. Which wasn't really. It wasn't. <laughs> the band there, Tortoise, um, yes. and the track Monica from the Standard CD, and uh, before that, something that was um, came straight off the back of your own. Aggressive, fierce and the dead six 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 was the the track Wilco, which was, which was not aggressive and not at all offensive. No, um, and no, the track we... Impossibly Germ- Impossible Germany from the Sky Blue Sky CD. Yes, um, we're going to make this show lads a, a download show. So anybody Yay. that's had trouble listening this evening or hasn't got on the webcam and missed some of the artists' names, uh, it will be downloadable and perhaps even in better quality than in the past, which would be quite nice. So we can all have a listen as well, because we're having a good good fun in the studio great fun and sometimes you don't get the chance to listen to the music as much as you would normally do so um the choices so far seem to have been excellent um, thank you uh, and would expect nothing less <laughs> thank you very much well you know i don't know what to say to <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I was about to make an offensive comment, but you know, <laughs> I just couldn't draw one. I couldn't draw one up. We need to make sure up. that the offence maintains a level. level. I know. Yeah. I feel like you know now Our that reputation. we've laid down the, the offence gauntlet, it's going to carry on. <laughs> exactly. 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 Next two tra- two tracks offensive in any way? What's uh, uh, what's the no, plan for these next? No, not really. Well, the next track is actually well, what it is, it's a band called Silvery. Um, um, and it's actually a Cardiac cover um, for called Spell with a Shell, which was actually featured on the second disc of the leader of the Star- correct, Skies. That's correct, yeah. yeah. Um, and which is, the, which is for, hey kids, if you don't know, that's the uh, Tim Smith tribute album. Yeah. That uh, came it's, out it's, a couple uh, of years back. It, I mean, the whole CD is absolutely outstanding. It really is. So um, this is something that I was lucky enough to be involved with. Um, and then the track we're going to play after this is a guy... Um, we haven't sort of known him that long. We just sort of just no, stumbled upon uh, him. So when I met on Twitter and yeah. I'm talking to, and his, his new album's absolutely amazing. He's called R. M. Hubbard. Right. Uh, we, okay. We played with him a gig with him, and he, um, this really moving live set. It's just oh, it's really so beautiful intense. stuff. The, the the song that uh, we're going to play is called Car Song, and it actually. Um, um, Aaron Puppet is an amazing guitarist and actually features um, Aidan Moffat uh, doing um, uh, vocals, who's the guy who's used to be an Arab strap. I was going to say, yeah, yeah. And it, it's also got Alex, uh, I can't pronounce his second name, sorry, Alex, Alex, Alex uh, from Franz Ferdinand um, playing. Oh, uh, with, with K something. Yeah, 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 playing on the end of it as well. So, he, yeah. Bizarrely, he produced it, but it's, it's absolutely fantastic. Yeah, it's a beautiful song, it's a beautiful song. Well, that was, that was just outrageous. Uh, Seminal Black Flag? Um, was, it, was it offensive? Well, I don't know. I mean, not as offensive as a six, 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 six. Track. It's all about the pause. Um, big pause. Yeah. P- yes. P A W S. Um, you, you just mentioned there. It's nice to go on a radio show where you can play Black Flag. Oh, it's amazing. Yeah, yeah. I'm having the time of my life. Thank you very much for for both coming in the studio oh, today. It's been great. It's been time. great fun. I mean, there's, a, there's 20 minutes left of the show, but um, yeah, you know, it's um, it's always nice to have people coming down and enjoying. Hopefully, we enjoyed the process of playing your favourite music. That's and, brilliant. Um, yeah. And actually, part of it, even working out what you're going to play. Yeah. Which is good laugh, yeah, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. Which is half of it. Yeah. I'm sure everybody at home's enjoyed it, and uh, we've had a bit of a problem with the chat room, but we've got to sort of make. Shift one, but this show will be downloadable, so we can all hear each other um, wittering on yeah. again. Um, that was Black Flag from the CD, the process of weeding out, and the track "Screw the Law." Before that, the Invisible from the Invisible CD, and the track "Constant." I think we're up to date, then, aren't we? With back yep. announcing, yes, we're there. Yeah, yeah. there. And we're we're now at the stage of where you you teased us early. Yeah, well, we've we've, we've got some friends in a band called Trojan Horse, and um, well, we're they're big. We're big fans of them. On good, show, very good yeah. band, yeah. As, as you should be. And um, they've um, very kindly um, given us a track to play from their um, brand new EP. I don't think it, I don't think it's even out yet. Even they haven't got copies. Even yeah. they haven't got copies. Yeah, <laughs> Which they, is, they haven't heard this. This is the first time they're going to hear this. <laughs> <laughs> Um, now um, the the track uh, that you actually sent me uh, is called Track One. I don't think it's called that. I think it's called Fire. <laughs> well, fire. Well, it's the Fire EP. It's isn't the Fire it? EP, so... and, they, and I'm pretty sure this is called Fire. But um, well, uh, we might we might find out uh, we might find out in the chat room. Yes, Let's, Nick's, yes, Nick's yes, in the yes, chat room. Yeah, you can talk us through it. Go on. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, should we? My bloody Valentine. Oh, uh, the I love it. You love made them. me realise. Can from I just the geek EP. out? Sorry, sorry there, can I just geek out and say that um, if there are any MBV fans out there, um, I've just recently heard that finally, and it's been sort of in, in the, you know, been rumoured for a while, and I believe it might be true now, finally, loads of their stuff from the Glider EP, from that EP, um, I think Loveless, and lots of unreleased songs are finally getting remastered and re-released as a big deluxe thing. I think Kevin Shields is overseeing that. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, you know, it's been, they've been rumoured for ages, but I've just got a vibe that this time it's going to come really out. Bit happen, like the monsoon yeah. bassoon. Yeah, yeah. there's <laughs> too much. Really going to come out. It's going to yeah. come out. It's, it's rumours flowing around. Before that, uh, not a rumour, even though it's not out as yet, but it soon will be. Um, the new stuff. The mm. new stuff. Is that the right word? Stuff is allowed. Good. Yeah, yeah, stuff's good. good. Yeah, yeah. Um, you can probably call it stuff. I can't. It's a bit like I can call my cue a stick. But you can't. You can't. <laughs> can't. Similar thing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Trojan horse. Yeah, uh, that was good. And the track fire. Well, we think it's yeah, possibly yeah. fire for the new EP when it, it, was when it comes good. out. Yeah, it's great. We sounded like very that. nice really as well. Really we like that very much. Um, um, it's been... Uh, 
I should say something now. I just feel devastating. It, it's been it, I mean, really, I've, really, I've, really, I've, I've really enjoyed this evening, even though a lot of it's gone over my head because obviously I'm sitting here with three musicians, everybody in the chat room, <laughs> and a lot of the talk I haven't really understood. We've got flip but charts and everything. I've, I've been I've been fascinated by your your knowledge and depth and everything, but um, not too long left of the show. Thanks very much for coming in. I hope you've enjoyed I, it. It's really, really, it's been yeah, great really, fun. Really, really, really has been good fun. For, uh, getting us on. Um, really looking forward to his next choice. Which it's a, is it's a favourite of thanks mine. Thanks for getting me out of the yeah. Thank Sorry. you. <laughs> what is it? What is the next? Well, one? ever wondered what what, what prog rock and uh, sorry. Uh, ah. Hey, Steve, ever wondered what prog rock and uh, rockabilly might sound like to, uh, if they were fused together, like never they were meant to be? <laughs> no, ever wondered that? No, I haven't actually. Well, wonder no more. In the in the room uh, knew that particular track and knew every word and, and beat, but I didn't. I, kn- I knew the line: "The necrophage becomes saint." Oh. <laughs> uh, the choices of our special guests, Kev Fazy and Fizzy. Max De Fizzy. <laughs> I got. I, I, was, I, I do apologise, Kevin. It's that's just, no, I have a problem with. No, that's fine. I've gone through life. I've been calling Carvus Cavus. I don't mind. And, uh, and Matt Stevens, our special guest from the Fierce and the Dead. It's pronounced um, Stevens. And we're coming to the nearly to the end of the show. Um, next week, you won't be here. But well. um, we have another special guest coming in next week. I'm sure it's, it's, it's next week. Ian Fairholm, the epileptic hey. Gibbon himself, is back. Fantastic. Uh, and it, fantastic selection last time. And um, yeah, I wasn't. I wasn't here last time. No, so I didn't I let you come. Oh, no, you no, no. Are you going to come? Are you going to come? I would love to. That'd come be great fun. The three of us. We'll have, I'm sure it'd be fantastic. And uh, what a great selection he played last time. Pressure's on, Ian. Pressure's on. Um, we've got very short amount of time left. I think we can think cram two right. more tracks in. Well, I think one. One. I think if okay. we can talk, if we can talk for another uh, half a minute. <laughs> spill out, if we can spill out our enlightening conversation. Or for we can half just minute. end short. I could, end talk, I could talk a little bit about this next song uh, in the wisdom in the eternal wisdom of their terrific record company Noise um, they, uh, they decided it wasn't right for the album and uh, left it off and only put it on a 12 inch however when the wonderful Celtic or if you will Celtic Frost uh, uh, <laughs> regained control it appeared on the seminal rock album avant rock album Into the Pandemonium and this is uh, this well, is, would you have said that if you had the choice, yeah, choice yeah, to introduce? It's, 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 it's as if he's read our minds. It's their, it's their well, that's, choice. That's yeah. marvellous. It brilliant. really is, yeah. It's been a pleasure having you on. It's uh, been a pleasure being here. We'll and we look forward to, uh, to your new product going from strength to strength and, and some live concerts, and it'd be great to come along as well. So, um, brilliant. Yeah, so, Thank you very much. And come, be, come again. Come again sometime yeah, no, in yeah, the definitely. future when you've got some more stuff to play or <laughs> whatever. We're, we're going to go away and record stuff just so we can come <laughs> yeah, back. We'll back. You've been listening to the choices of uh, The Fierce and the Dead tonight, Matt Stevens, Kev Feasy. That's close enough for me. <laughs> so, that's good. Uh, I've, been, um, I've been Steve Davis. You've been... I've been Carlos Tarabi. Thanks very much for listening. Have a great week. The interesting alternative show on Phoenix FM. Gold to cash. You sell it, we buy it. You get more at the Money Shop Brentwood store or online at moneyshop.tv. 